Good evening or good afternoon, everyone, or I guess it's morning still. Uh, my name is Jim Rogers. I'm a geologist. Uh, I've worked in Red Lake for 30 years, uh, mostly as mine geologist, chief geologist of both mines, and I spent 10 years at SK. I've been retired for the last year, and this project has gotten me excited, and uh, I've come out to, to work on it, and I think uh, if there's gold there, we're going to find it, and all the indications are there. Uh, a lot of word slides here. I'll go through them fairly quickly, but a big thing is the project highlights excellent infrastructure. Anyone knows Red Lake? We've got a couple mills, three mines going right now, or starting to go anyway. Located 60 kilometers east of the Great Bear, Dixie Lake Discovery. Uh, 2018 program we, was done in the winter, and it was done before the geophysics was done. So that's, that's part of our excitement in terms of uh, looking at the system and the rocks and, and so much potential that hasn't been looked at. Uh, there's gold there. The numbers we have so far aren't economic, but they do show the gold is there. And I'll explain why I'm excited about that as we go forward. The high property's got a, a few anomalies on it. The highest grade gold counts was done by the ministry back about 30 years ago and just being looked at now. Again, the geophysics was just done recently and it really lights up the structures and, and the complexities of the, of the, the geology, the fault coming together and the, and the folds and rolls where, where you can expect to find the latencies. And also we found some other recent uh, 6.17 grams near surface. Recent prospecting, we've uh, a parrot showing, which is uh, on, on the east side, northeast side, we've resampled that and uh, some quartz veins looks good. So we went up there and prospected there about four weeks ago to have a good look at it. So that was my first exposure to the property. Uh, the Panama project's not been adequately tested and has all the ingredients required for major discovery. I'm very much a systems approach to, to exploration. You need the deep cracks, you need the transport, and then you need the traps on surface. Uh, we have the right geology. We've got the various rock type, type uh, you know, mafic, ultramafic sediments. That's where you get the, the cracks forming, and, and that's what forms ore bodies. Uh, right rocks, chemical traps, and we've got numerous high-priority targets. Uh, we're planning to conduct about a $1 million program, 3,500 to 4,000 meters. And the goal of the program is to find high-grade gold zones. I, I like to put what success would be. So basically, I'm thinking 50 gram meters or 25 grams over 2 meters, 10 grams over 10 meters, 2 grams over 25 meters. To me, that's something that can be economic. Again, I'm a mine geologist based. We're looking for something that's going to be exciting and mineable. Uh, we are planning to drill the top four targets on the Panama. And there's probably more than four there, but, and our priorities could change, but uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, the following slides, uh, I want to talk more to the pictures than I do actually to these word slides. So uh, this type of structural litho, litho structural framework is key to our key in deposits, and, and we have what, what we need there. This is a, a longitudinal, or a, a plan view of the, uh, so you see the Great Bear over here. You see the faults along. And then our, our Panama project up here. There's some past producing gold mines on this trend coming down. And we've got a trend coming across here with base metals in it. And you can see the faults. So we're, we're basically connected to the same system as the Great Bear. The Red Lake Gold Mines is up here. Great Bear has the same structures, probably the same timing as the Red Lake Gold Mines. The, the geometry, the, the uh, structural, litho structural framework is similar. It's just Great Bear has different favorable rocks than the Red Lake gold mines, but the structures and the sources are the same. That's my opinion, anyway. So targeting systems approach, I'll go a little bit through it, but the project shows deep faulting necessary to plumb the cracks and tears. And the cracks are usually more foliation parallel, and the tears are usually at 45 degrees. That's why you have to drill in at least three different directions to find these things. And any geologist that goes into one of these camps and doesn't drill in multiple directions is kidding themselves. That's where a lot of the, the higher grade tears are actually the, the best. Uh, we've got lots of uh, faults and offsets and folds. So target patterns, basically, they're there. And like I say, we now have modern geophysics on the property that we just got in uh, September. And we're actually using that to model folds and, and, and faults and that sort of thing. I won't go through this slide in too much detail, but basically this is our prop property and we've, we've got a few priorities. One and two is in here. 
the previous, the drilling done last winter basically hit up to, I think, two and a half grams over four and a half meters. So we've got gold in, in a structure, but really on a five to seven kilometer width, we've tested 75 meter width without geophysical targets. It was just following up old prospects. So we've only drilled a very small piece. There's gold there, and I think there's better hosts there than that. So I would say I won't spend too much time on that one. This shows the geophysical interpretation. And you see again our targets, but you've got Mafix, Ultra Mafix, Banded. There are gold mines north here on the property, and rumor has it there's been some visible gold intersected north of us by another company. But you can see here, we're looking at a fold here, and I'll show zoom in on that. Here we're looking at a roll, and here we're looking at a, a, a Gold Corp did a lot of geochem in here before they basically never did test their targets. Politics dropped the property, you know, with all the changes. So politics is an opportunity for us as well. Somebody dropped a property because they had other things going on. So you can see here that the geophysics is showing these, and, and this is the interpreted geology. So there's lots of complexities there that make for good, good targets for ore bodies. This is a close-up of the, uh, the fold. So this is where we got the lower grade numbers up here, say two and a half grams over four and a half, five meters. Now we're coming down into these fold noses. And you can see here, I'm looking at drilling different directions. What I've tried to show here is those are surface traces of minus 35 degree holes at about 350 meters long. The thing is, a lot of the drilling is done steep on very narrow structures. And what I want to do is cover the area so that we get a good horizontal coverage. So even if I'm drilling to, say, 250 meters deep, my real goal is to find out how does that project a surface and how does that help me interpret the geology. So we'll be covering, like we say, with two holes, I can probably cover 600 meters of, of horizontal width, whereas in, in, in the old style where you have to drill steeper holes, it, you don't get near as much coverage. So I think there's a lot of opportunity there. This is a, another map that shows, the, shows some of the, the showings that the work here is, is what Gold Corp did with soil samples, and these are the targets that they've laid out. I've actually prioritized this one because I believe I can get across the full stratigraphy with a couple holes, so that'll give me the best look at the structure. The other target in here was the Panama, and, and that's actually where we're drilling the first priority. And down here, it wasn't on their list, but it, it, it showed up in the geophysics, so that's become one of my other priorities. And there is an historic showing up here, I believe it was 26 grams on a grab taken back in the late 40s. We went in there in about four weeks ago and we, we found a vein, actually a few veins, quartz veins, and we sampled them. We're, we're waiting on assays for that. So this is just an air photo, give you a little bit of a summary of what we're looking at. But basically, for a million bucks or a little, little less than a million dollars, we're going to have a pretty, pretty good look at this property, and success could very easily come in, in, in one of those drill holes. So just to summarize, uh, excellent infrastructure and exploration, discovery potential in the Golden Red Lake mining districts. We're located 60 kilometers east of the Dixie Lake on trend. And I'd say the Panama project has not been adequately tested and has all of the ingredients for a major discovery. Deep-rooted structures, the right geology, Rheological contrasts, so brittle ductile, basically you, you get the rotation and that's how you get the ore bodies opening up. Uh, chemical traps, and so we have very numerous high priority targets. Uh, I'm excited about the project. Uh, as, as a geologist, uh, it, it's going to be fun. I'm doing this because I want to have some fun. I, I say I've been sort of retired for the last little bit and I'm really excited to be involved in this project. Thank you.